Zoom that are currently with Tom. Good with it. EICTC, your editor in chief, Trent Clark. Sorry for the delay. This is our first time we've never done this. It's time for the litmus test. Hey, make sure you guys open up a separate browser, hiphopdx.com, very front page. The Nas listening album will commence right after we get done with this stream. So, you know, we got some, it's a hip hop kind of day. We're going to talk about the Kanye albums, the seven track albums, and the new album is called Nas Ear. It's the first time you heard it? Yeah, because it's on hiphopdx.com right now. So we lit. How's everybody doing out there? You guys excited about the Nas album? Let me know what your thoughts is. What's up, Redwood Studios? We're queued up right now. He's live on Facebook. Let me refresh all my browsers. Facebook is live. Make sure you guys uh, tune into Wave. As well, download the Wave app. We got my monster elements, rose golds in the building. Castro, Richard Corvo, how you guys doing? Sound off. Madhu official. Mandu, I say it right, Mandu. Yeah, Nas Nasir album listening is uh, going down right now. Well, it's about thirty five minutes. will be up. You got some special pieces to uh, commemorate the Nas release. All right. And as always, it is time for the litmus test. It's Thursday, July, June 14th. Um, get ready, get ready, get ready. As always, we have rules to this thing here. Two sets of rules. 90 days, 90 seconds. So your song can't be older than 90 days. You know, we don't want any SoundCloud dust off, you know, might have won a competition a couple years ago. You know, the song might be timeless, but you know, we're looking for artists, up and comers, or established artists who, you know, are forward thinking in, uh, in the process of the career. As well as uh, 90 seconds, I'm going to listen to the song for 90 seconds, uh, create a verdict from there. Make sure you, if you guys are submitting at, lit at hiphopdx.com, make sure that, you know, you are letting us know the time frame. So we don't want. You know, endure 45 seconds of intro, and then well, I'm only listening to the song for roughly 30 seconds. You know, you're not giving yourself a fair shake. And, you know, the songs that you submit shouldn't be. <laughs> the songs that you submit should not be, uh, you know, have lengthy intros anyway. You know, you get straight to the point. Richard Corbin said, What's the stream about? I just told you. Uh, Man, do official. Make sure you submit to the litmus test. Nino Ritter, what's up from Portugal, Europe? Absolutely. Ready for the excited for that World Cup? Uh, check out hipbobdx.com. We got a uh, little bit of coverage on that too. Miguel and TJ, you know, just dropped some World Cup commercials. So it's uh, it's lit. It's lit. And it is time for the litmus test. First submission of today, June 14th. First up, I got Kim D and Caleb, aka Drew Shacha. With Star, where are you guys from? You guys a group? Kim D, produced by Cash Money AP. Mixed by Brandon Joseph, shot and edited by Drew Shacha. Guys are part of the Wave Makers, I guess. Uh, but more info, you know, like when someone stumbles, especially like on YouTube and SoundCloud, if someone stumbles upon your songs, because you know, that is the Wave right now. There is a lot of, um, you know, just a lot of music searching for fans these days. Someone stumbled onto this shit. Make sure we know what we're getting into. So, um, I don't know much about Kim D and Caleb, except for they made a song called Star. And it is directed, this is a video. So roll the clip, Raz. It's time for the litmus test. Let's get it. Nobody wanna put the work in. Nobody wanna put the work in. Nobody wanna put the work in. 
<laughs> Niggas is slow, no I gotta go There's more to this life that I'm living than getting attention from hoes Can't tell me something I know Grow, a struggle, a goal Up in my duffel like clothes Huff and I puff on the dough I want a lot in the mo Give me that Glow like a star I'm finna pop like tags I done chose, now that circle closed Fuck nigga up my swag When I blow, call that supernova Yes, I'm just that gas I mean, there's no other version, say this for certain I'm not a regular person, niggas throw shade in the dark Pull back the curtain, pull up and spit like a furnace Shit on these niggas for lurking, watch and observe and study But they never learn it, swear I might keep the wood turning Passion be burning, I feel like money for certain Fuck a diversion, I'm giving a sermon Don't give a fuck, be a virgin, wrist of a surgeon Whipping and working, lavishly living suburban Fly as a bug on a plane, niggas is lame Go out and get it in game, this ain't a game Play with me once, swear you won't play me a game Been through the pain, don't nothing hurt you like more of the same Feel like a star on the beat. Got niggas wishing on me. Goddamn. Y'all never follow your dreams. Y'all only pin them on me. Fickle friends get off the D. I got ambition and places to be. I keep my name and my face out the streets. Cause real niggas keep it discreet. Dang. Yeah. You know, the crazy thing about stars is a lot of time we don't see them until after they're gone. Yeah, I'm talking like this. Catch up. Must have heard about us, cause we next up And all them fake diamonds don't impress us I will never fold under pressure, not under pressure Still you shine, I'm the dim reaper Thirsty rappers beg for a feature I don't got time for these niggas Can't spare a line to these niggas Unimpressed by that flexin' flexin' Fake rollie turn your wrist green We gon' shine just like Mr. Clean And I know y'all just wondering where we get this from Swag on yeah, we lit just like I said it's low. Is it low? Doom, doom, doom. But yeah, I agree with uh, Jose Explosion, or Richard Corvo, I should say. Uh, some rappers uh, use a generic flow, but that doesn't mean they're whack. I can hear myself. 
Y'all can hear me? All right, test, test. All right, y'all can hear me. They can hear me. All right, yeah. So let me go back and uh, reiterate what I said. Um, upbeat, energetic song. Lyrics were a little ho hum, you know, a little corny. Ketchup must have, must have heard about us. Uh, the first guy was rapping virgin sermon, the virgin Persian rugs. Um, you know, so, you know, it sounds like they're a little bit torn in between, you know, being a little bit known, being known for lyrics a little bit, but still having hit records. So, you know, as you guys continue to experiment in the studio, you know, you'll, you'll find a good niche. Uh, but at, at the same time, you guys are, you know, decent artists and definitely confident on the mic. So I can respect that. Shout out to LB Sosa, Alex P, Kush Crazy. How you guys living? But uh, yeah, thank you guys for that uh, star um, entry. Next up, it looks like we're going to Delaware with uh, Fresh from DE. They just want to. I assume that's uh, Delaware. Uh, Fresh from DE. They just want to. Produced by Just Fly. Mad Studios. All right. Let's get into it. Fresh from DE. The litmus test. They just wanna move you when they want. They can't get out. Want you to work, but they do not. They believe it all will fall into your lap Wait for you to build up something Then they get attached They just wanna move you when they want They can't get out Want you to work But they do not see They believe it all will fall into your lap Wait for you to build up something Then they get attached They say I will never be shit I guess you can bear witness they say give it to the point it hurts Or else you don't make a difference I just had to take my shot Even if I miss, you can say I did it Doubt me till I'm scoring buckets on them I'm just weaving through the ignorance Now they want me to put them on Knowing damn well you don't believe in me When time's tough, I know you quick to flee Ain't no fucking way you moving me I've been moving at my own pace Place to place, I know I got what it takes I'm about to put on my cape About to save the game But this ain't no memory card, don't play no. Work smarter, not harder, upgrade your tactics Cut the dead weight free, load is piggybacking You don't really know a person till you see their actions What happens? They just wanna move you when they want They can't get out Want you to work But they do not see They believe it all will fall into your lap Wait for you to build up something Then they get attached They just wanna move you when they want They can't get out Want you to work They just wanna Produced by Just Fly uh, Really solid record uh, You can definitely move things along lyrically um, While still painting the picture uh, For what they As in the haters, the naysayers Or whatever it did you know, So it didn't come off as uh, trite, generic, or corny Any, any uh, uh, cons, you know, I would say, you know, the record definitely does uh, kind of just blend in. You know, by the time we get to track eight on this playlist, I doubt um, any of us will still be thinking about it. But at the same time, it was rock solid across the board. So, um, you know, a little bit more energy in the delivery or, uh, you know, one thing I did notice too is really devoid of ad-libs. You know, ad-libs have become a crutch for the whack, the whack rapper, but they also act, are like, you know, they should be used as what they've always been for, um, garnish, you know, just to, um, you know, tack on to the record. And, uh, you know, for so for this particular record, it was cut and dry, but, you know, came out in a really rock solid mode. Uh, what do you guys think? Um, Richard Corgo said the hook sounds nice. Uh, Alex Padilla said the mic level is down again, bro. Mic check, mic check. One, two, one, two. Oh, all the way up. Turn it up. 
Turn y'all's, uh, turn y'all's radio up. Turn y'all's, um, computer speakers up, too. Um, let's see here. Who else? In Henry, what's good? And Alex Padilla said, good sound, good vibes. Yeah, who's that? Yeah, that was, moved straight along. Nice, had a nice trajectory uh, across the board. So, you know, uh, re really audible. You're a good artist, Fresh and D. You can rap. All right. Next up, we got B Mac. What I got? Is this B Mac the Queen? Or is this a B Mac? All right. B Mac, where you from? B Mac is from. I'm pulling from Facebook. About. B Mac is from. Where's 401 at? 401 area code. Anyone know? Rhode Island. It's like our second or third Rhode Island submission. Uh, you guys are getting brawlers. I like it. Rhode Island has no representation for hip hop in the history of hip hop. Um, it's probably just a place where rappers got girls pregnant. They didn't tell nobody. Um, this song is produced by T. Watt. It's called I Got. It looks like he went on vacation to shoot it. All right, let's get it cool. B-Mac, I'm excited to hear this. Rhode Island's finest, I got. For the clip, Rives. Hey, bro said, yeah, I like it off better. Can you guys hear us now? 
Nick Nasty said, what the fuck? Nightcrawl TV said, no sound. And Rich Corrigo heard the sound. He said it was better when the sound was off. Ha <laughs> ha! Shit. No, it, it, it was, it was just, you know, it's, it's, it's a good record. You know, it's, um, you know, still a little bit, still a bit, a little levels away from, you know, being considered professional, but, um, you know, if you can continue to bring that same type of energy, B Mac, uh, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll have a nice bevy, uh, of records to, you know, put out a decent. Oh. You know. What do you guys think? Or did you not hear it? We good on sound? comes from the streets. Yeah, hip hop comes from the streets. Um, you know, street, street gospel. You know, street recording. Not a lot of uh, activity in the streets in Rhode Island. Not to say, you know, there is not no R N S going on in Rhode Island because you know we know that's everywhere. But you know, just historically, you know, these guys don't have a, a movement or anything. And, um, you know, your, your closest uh, influence would be New York for that. Let us know what you guys think about the sound. Sound man is working uh, over. I said the music level is good, it's the microphone that's low. And um, Taipei Bro said, Where do artists submit? Follow Hip Hop DX on Instagram. And we have an email that we use every week lit at hiphopdx.com. Face the road, the symbol towards him. Can you hear me now? Um, let me see here. All right, next up, we're moving to. Did we play the song already? Bootstraps. Lyric Michelle, we played this one already. Yeah, shout out to Lyric Michelle. We got that one already. But. Next up, we got Els. That's your name, Els? I don't know, man. Els Fuego. Where you from? Chicago. Uh, you got the Peyton Full graphic. Uh, the name of the song is BNH, Broke and Handsome. And, the na and your name is Els. Um, you know, sounds real gutter. You know, I could see I could see someone being named Dubs or Wins, but you're L's, so maybe we'll get the full explanation as to why. Um, okay, they can hear me loud and clear now. The mic wasn't facing me. All right. Um, thank you for that uh, suggestion, Alex. Um, L's B N H Broken Handsome. Let's get it. Chicago trap rap. Shout out to Chief Keith.
right. Shout out to Bravo Pop, Brother Pablo. Yeah, YouTube's on its wacky shit. Got litmus test, Nas album streams going on. It's just all, all across the board. Um, yeah, so I'm not anti-trap. None of us at Hip Hop DX are. But at the same time, trap can really fall into a very cookie cutter form, cookie cutter formula, and that's exactly what this particular one was. L's, um, you know, straight by the numbers. Didn't say anything that we haven't heard before. Whether it's a Chicago rapper or Atlanta rapper, uh, beat was pretty basic. You know, he had the 808s and the brooding bass. Um, yeah, just, and I know this is pretty much uh, the top sound of the culture at the moment, but. You know, we could wake up tomorrow and motherfuckers could be making roller skate music and calling it hot. Um, yeah, so, you know, if you're serious about uh, being an MC, you know, we need to we need, you need to eject more personality of uh, who you are, who you stand for. You know, and if you're, if you're a basic hood nigga, then, you know, do that. But, you know, still create your own artistry around it. And there's, there's plenty of, uh, you know, real street dudes who are in, in hip hop. Who found a way to, uh, you know, create their own their own sound, you know? And I know because what you created is definitely what the hood listens to. But you know, at the same time, they're really not uh, very very critical of the music either. Not like I am. Uh, shout out to Jutain Clan. Uh, he said, "I miss when Trent cared enough to show up to the noon live stream." Ha! <laughs> Busy man, editing cheap stuff. You know how it go. Uh, Michael Torrento, what do y'all think of Six Nine going to Chicago with a going to Chicago with a SWAT team? It's either that or you know he get the life swatted out of him with them bullets. Um, yeah, so um, Stuart Taylor, you like any UK artists? Sure, but we're on Chicago artists right now. Um, yeah, so thank you for the submission, L's. Next up, I got Glenn Ross with UDT. What does UDT stand for? You down with UDT? Definitely sounds like an STD. Uh, Glenn Ross, produced by 20 Grammars. Uh, it's off his debut EP, Ode to a Romantic City, Paris and Its Dramas. That was a mouthful. All right, and it's a video. So we're going to find out what UDT means. Glenn Ross, roll the clip, Ross. It's the litmus test. It's only a minute. straight into it now there are when it comes to this type of R&B there are certain elements that are definitely targeted uh, to the opposite sex to the female sex so I won't knock you for those particular ones what I will say though is um, you know when you you know when you I'm, I'm usually critical of aimless or you know, free-forming trap soul, because I think I think the artist usually just you know tries to play to that female fan base. You know, they they like hearing you know guys singing the falsetto. It sounds sappy. It sounds sensual. Um, so you guys get vile for that. You know, so this particular record didn't really have any uh, 
you know, strong melodies, even at a minute. Uh, I don't think it was anything memorable. Still don't know what UDT means. Uh, as far as quality, yes, Glenn Ross, you can sing. 20 Grammars, slightly overproduced beat, you know, for a, a minute's time, but uh, still definitely dynamic in the range of productions and instruments. So uh, decent, but ultimately forgettable. Uh, and I had to ask some of my esteemed colleagues across the space, but I'm wondering if Trap Soul is already on its way out. We know trap music is still hanging on strong with his trap soul still a thing you know after Bryson Tiller dropped that album a lot of people start abusing it um but uh yeah Jutane Clan said uh he he like it uh, Miguel, Miguel Toretto said bro trying to trying hard to be Bryson Tiller laugh aloud the video is a rip off of exchange see See, yeah, uh, and Brother Pablo said that beat is killer, the switch just for deadly. Yeah, I definitely respect the instrumentation. I think it was a bit much for a one minute clip, but um, shout out to Bronson, uh, my man. Uh, Jutane Clan uh, said the weekend's influence is starting to really be seen in new music. This is smooth though. And Wayne Baldwin said was waiting for a high point, thought he was about to kill it. Yeah, it was only a minute long, we didn't have, time. We didn't have enough time to kill it. Uh, Richard Corgo said, uh, when he said UDT, it sounded like you did this. And Evo, Eminem Vivo remix said, you doing trash. <laughs> it wasn't trash, but yeah, it wasn't, uh, it definitely blends in with the, with the trap soul, uh, movement, if that's even still a thing. Um, yeah, so shout out, uh, Glenn Ross. I definitely like to hear more from you because, you know, you are scared, skilled vocalist. Um, and your producer's dope too, you know, just want to hear a little bit more artistry into the music, you know, like I said, there, there's a the female fan base, especially even a paying public, you know, they'll come to see male R&B singers take off the shirt and sing in falsetto, uh, you know, me, that's obviously not what uh, piques my interest when it comes to that, so, you know, I, I'm, I tend to be a little bit critical in other areas, but, uh, yeah, next up we got Easy Peasy P. I don't like that name. You don't need the extra P. Easy Peasy works. Or Peasy P. Easy P. You know, Easy Peasy P is a bit much. But this is free, produced by Corey West. I don't like that name as well. A little, a little too close to Kanye West. And it's West without the T, but, you know, even still. Um... Where are you guys from? Texas. Amarillo, Texas. Definitely hot. Um, and this is free. He's smoking a blunt. Corey West on the beat. Free. Easy peasy pee. I want $40 worth of smoke. What? Yeah, you know, of course I do. I've been getting from you for weeks. You mean you ain't got... What? I can't hear shit. Phones all fucked up. What? You got any reason? Who is this? Who the hell you think I am? I don't know you. I've been getting for you for the long and you better get me some smoke, man. I'm not calling you. Don't you talk to me if you ain't got no reason, man. Oh, yeah? What's well, fuck you? Well, fuck you. If you got a blunt, you got a blunt. Right now, be a good time to spark it up. Spark it up. Spark it up. Yeah. Leave me alone, let me smoke my weed. My Always there when I need it You ignited my spirit, influenced most of this music You the con of the storm, you know I love is the purest I'm always breaking her down, she always lifting me up We making love by the pound, the sweetest kisses from her And every time she around, you know the speakers is up Cause she be way too loud when I be feeling the rough Yeah, I keep you near, but I want you closer And if you ever dis- right. Easy peasy P, free Produced by Corey West uh, okay, the Texas. I definitely see where you're going from. You're definitely inspired by Devin the dude. Um, 
melody was solid. A lot of a lot of little things that turned into a big thing for this one. Easy peasy pee. Um, first of all, your intro was way too long. Um, you know, you could have told us where to start the song, but even still, um, you know, regardless of just outside the litmus test, you know, like if you got if you got an easy smoker's anthem or you know something that you want to lift the people, you know, you don't need an uh, additional lengthy soundbite to get it started. You know, get right into the action. Um, you know, when you know if you release a song as a single. You know, keep it like as is, and then if, if it's part of a bigger album, then you can start adding interludes uh, for the album versions. Um, Corey West did his thing. Uh, you know, that was uh, definitely bubbly, uh, you know, smoke time music. A um, little heavy on the auto tune, too. You know, like if you're going to sing and especially sing about weed or carefree things, you know, sometimes the natural, El Natural is a way to go. You know, like there's plenty of. Uh, okay singers who have incredible melodies who sing about weed um you know it's because it's it's more so like like afro man you know afro man isn't uh you know giving john legend a run for his money but you know his high his high hymns uh definitely you know speak to the people when you know when they're token up so you know pretty solid uh overall you know you just got a little bit things to work on um you know, and at the end of the day, it was just another weed song. What do you guys think? Alex Padilla. Stoner beat. Rapper needs to be more mellow. I just don't like the singing type. Uh, Geronimo Schroeder said, this track was so fire, it should be a crime to release it for free. Are you high right now? I think you are. LV Sosa said, nice vibe. Hook needs to be redone. Yeah. Uh, Bronson said, auto-tune segment, super clash for opening. I agree. Totally agree. And Payne Aksuki Leader is shouting out his Twitter, so make sure you guys copy and paste that, put it in another browser, and then click the follow button on Twitter because he really wants you to do that. Um, and Jutane Clan said the auto tune was trash. It was a little heavy. Auto tune, I'm not anti auto tune either. Um, you know, if you sound, but, it, you know, so everybody uses auto tune. Some people use it as, you know, part of their artistry, some, a part of their voice. You know, everybody doesn't sound good, heavy in auto tune. Like Ron, Ron Browse and T Pain, they sound good with auto tune. You know, everyone else, Jay Z didn't sound good with auto tune on like Swagger Like Us. So, you know, think about that, you know, overall. Next up, Official Killer J. Man, that's a 1992 rapper name if I ever heard one. Followed by another 1992 rapper name, Smooth. Official Killer J featuring Smooth. The name of the song is Enough. Where you distinguish gentlemen from old school hip hop. Well, he does have old school, but it's definitely uh well with your where are you guys from? Put some shit in y'all's bio. You know, like I said, they're from Martinsville, United States. Where is Martinsville? Um, I'm gonna Google it because I need to know. Virginia, okay, representing that big VA. A lot of, lot of talent, a lot of legends come from there. Um, Official Killer J, Enough, featuring Smooth. Or, yeah, this is Enough with Smooth. It's the litmus test. We're going to get to it. Seen him through my eyes, have you seen him through yours? Yeah. yeah. What we waited a whole life for, worked them long nights for. This that hunger mixed with a passion. They said I get it and bag it. The flipping nigga gymnastics didn't stick to the script. Now these niggas get so dramatic. I pen it, I'm so elaborate, and it's feeling like I died again. Now I'm alive again. Me versus the world and the demons that live inside of him. But I don't got the time for them. I'm focused on me now. They send shots and they miss, and I'm like Kareem with the rebound. Yeah. Dear Lord, tell me what should I do? You say the stars will be a sign, so who the stars look up to? First they switch aside, then get you to click a lot. The hate got them hypnotized. I know, I seen it all in a few. And if it's not about a dollar, it's not involving the crew. I'm more than famous in the city, I gotta watch how I move. I know some niggas they wanna kill me cause they not in my shoes. They couldn't fit these shades, these laces like a knot in the noose. So just give it up for the king while they still can. Nothing but rappers and instrumentals. 
in my meal plan Keep it cool, killer, it's easy cause I got real fans No way you can copy with mariachi, that's Lil Bands Get your budget up before your luck is up I'm from the bottom, so every hit is a uppercut I blindsided these niggas, that's such a sucker punch <laughs> Look, and yeah, the best to do it, I just ain't pressure to prove it up I seen them through my eyes, have you seen them through yours? Yeah, they sweating the shit, K, it's coming through their pores You get them an inch, and them niggas want more If you give them too much, then them niggas get bored So, ah, uh, just give them enough Just give them enough, just give them enough, uh-huh Just give them enough, just give them enough It's your Killer J, featuring Smooth. I guess that was Smooth on the hook. The name of the song is Enough. All right. Um, should I do the pros or cons first, Roz? Cons. Cons? Cons, the beat was okay. It was, definitely wasn't Just Blaze. It definitely wasn't Heat Makers. Uh, you know, I wouldn't, I'm not going back and putting that instrumental into my, uh, you know, favorite soulfuls. Uh, you know, beats. So, you know, with that metric, I know the feel that you were going for. Um, you know, it, it definitely doesn't reach that level. Um, it might for, you know, younger fans who don't, who've been heavily abused by trap music sounds. And, uh, you know, it definitely stands out even in this generation. So, yeah, the, the beat was all right. Um, Lyrically, you're do definitely dope. Um, you definitely rose above. You know, produ production could be overbearing for artists. Uh, you know, who's not confident and uh, or who doesn't have a strong delivery. You definitely do. You know, you're versatile with your lyricism. Um, yeah, like it's crazy that um, this type of uh, music can, can could be considered old school. You know, I mean, just last decade. Well, we're going on two decades now. Just about, but yeah, I don't, wouldn't consider it old school, but I definitely do remember the time when, you know, especially the artists on top, such as Rockefeller, uh, you know, used to blaze heavy on those soulful samples. And, um, you know, this is reminiscent of it, so it was definitely a solid, solid offering. Killer J. Uh, Jutane Clan said, Broke Millie, so no Dolly or Cars. For real though, that was dope. I got Meek Mill vibes. I enjoyed enough to hear more than him, but the song wasn't it. It was the beat. Like the beat was, uh, you know, the beat was made in that same vein, you know, East Coast lyricism, uh, instrumentals, hip hop, but it didn't have the same, uh, didn't have the same magic. Uh, Geronimo Shorter said he didn't give us enough. Uh, he did. He gave us. He gave us all right. Uh, Joseph, uh, Joseph Z, how you doing, my brother? He said, this song is enough. It's lit. Yeah. And Miguel Torrento said, it sounds like he's biting off Meek Mill style, but the flow is pretty smooth. Man, Meek Mill, like, it's easy to say Meek Mill because, yeah, Meek Mill's one of the only few who's doing that. You know, Meek Mill's might be the hottest M East Coast MC out. You know, like, they really don't make them like they used to. And Meek Mill's uh, reminiscent of those old Rockefeller days, but... Uh, trust me, this style's been around longer than Meek Mill's beat braids. Um, Brother Pablo said, I'm okay with artists biting styles at the start, though. That's how they develop their own twists and styles, you know. Yeah, I mean, everybody's a flow. You know, like the Honorable Nazir Jones said, no idea is original under the sun. And he, even he wasn't the original person to say that. Um, yeah, so definitely a solid record. Enough. Uh, Killer J. Represent VA. Next up, we got Trill Will. He's representing them okay boys. Um, I don't know where okay is. But this is a video. So let's get into it. Trill Will. Okay. <laughs>
late, cause it's time to get paid Call up Mike and he might pull up on a hot ass bike and the shit got flames Let's paint the town, I hold it down Show a young clown how to really move solo I'm Willy Wonka, I'll make you wonder Have you ever seen a chocolate cholo? Bitch, take a photo, I'll be with Jojo Also with Connie, Ricky and Momo About them suckers, I really don't know I just duck em, like they the popo, yo, yo Boys all that's around me They look like I'm from Japan Yo, bitch, better grab your bitch and keep a fine ass all the way from Dubby Show us some love if you see us in public Different mamas, but that's my brother You don't want problems, you don't want puzzles How are you tired? You don't even hustle Call my kids and tell them I love them My baby mama can't tell me nothing is Okinawa, Trill Will The Asian version of Crew uh, That song's catchy uh, You can definitely rap We didn't, uh, didn't lean too heavy on the Asian uh, You know, DNA You didn't make it corny um, yeah, it was it was a pretty cool clip. You know, looks like he went back. Uh, let's see here. I'm looking for more info on you, but yeah, I mean, I, I was digging it. You know, it was definitely lighthearted, uh, in, enjoyable enough. Shout out to Jerome Will Schroeder, Trill Will Sign. Yeah, it was definitely Mr. Miyagi ish. Uh, Jutang Clan said, I kind of dig this melody, not the verse, though. Yeah, it was the same melody as, like, Crew. Uh, you know, just, just with an with a Asian twist. And, and Miguel Torino uh, actually says the complete opposite. He said the hook was trash, but everything else was all right. Everything was, uh, everything was all right. It was, it, was, it was solid all across the board. Good, good B minus C plus type, type feel. Uh, Brother Pablo said, Yokozuna, my ass. They're like in elementary school. What are they selling? Pokemon cards? Or, uh, shout out to the Three Ninjas reference. Yeah, that was, like, you definitely didn't shy away from being Asian. I assume Japanese. But, uh, yeah, it didn't, you didn't make it into a gimmick either. So, kudos. Um, what do you guys think? Who do you guys think's winning? We got one more submission left. Uh... Yeah, Bronson said, not much substance, lukewarm brag record. Yeah, I'm with that. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was, it was unassuming, but still cool. Uh, who you guys think's winning today? Last up for the crown of June 14th, the day Nas albums comes out. Uh, Can Boy. The name of the song is MPO, and he's representing Dubai. MPO. Might pass out. That's what it stands for. I thought it was like a some type of hedge fund that we don't know about. The Dubai money. Um, yeah, look at it. Where do you guys see this crazy ass artwork? You see this shit? Girls taking shots of Cavassier, getting banged from the back, middle fingers, red cups. Yeah, it's about to be some shit. Can boy might pass out. Let's get it. Still hit this test. Uh, I'm just up to pop my weed, bitch uh, And the niggas started feeling it Ay, ay, on their face like Mr. Feed it Uh, if can't can do like he just deleted it Uh, push up on you with the raw speed it Uh, I don't give a fuck how you feel it Ay, drop top, push up on you pussy niggas I got hot bitches soaking on a nigga Ay, hopscotch hopping over pussy niggas Katara, I must run away from Ruby, nigga eh? I tell him I ain't fucking with no funny niggas eh? But these funny niggas think a funny nigga eh? They just mad cause KK ain't got the money bigger Okay, little nigga, you a little nigga eh? I don't give a fuck if I'm too short eh? I'm tagging up these bitch like it's two corks eh? And I ain't smoking on no new ports eh? Only cause a nigga left the airport 
Can't control this pot, I am the landlord It, forehead hit, cut right off the paperboard It, all my bitches grind it like it's pitch sports Listen, I don't be playing fix sports Okay, I know that bitch won't be my A&R Okay, I'm taking this shit all the way to Mars It, and I might not buy that bitch a car It, cause first she had it with my heart Okay, the fuck it out um that was whack um it sounds like you ain't from Dubai nigga I'm on your Instagram uh you're definitely influenced by you know the free forming slack swag that is definitely infiltrating and dominating the sound of the culture which I'm not mad at uh you're just all over the place with your artistry um you know you had had an opportunity you know with the whole MPO movement and you really didn't stick to that script uh, just really aimless in your approach. Um, you know, I'm, again, I'm not anti auto tune or any type of studio effects, but you have to master your actual artist's voice before you can even put those into play. You know, and um, you know, this is an example of not a lot of gatekeepers being in play, so we're just letting anything come and go and try to rack up hits or you know build a career. But you know, this one was not good. What do you guys think? Am I tripping? Uh, Brother Pablo said, ooh, that beat though. I fucks with this, but bars ain't really there. Bronson said, super loud sound bites and low sound opening, bad. Uh, Miguel Toretto says, it just me that heard him say the hard R in the beginning. <laughs> uh, Jutang Clan said, I ain't gonna lie, I'm vibing right now, bumping in the whip. In passenger seat, don't worry. Word up, word up. A shout out to Joko. Uh, Joko was cool. Uh, he, yeah, he's all Joseph Z. Uh, he said, what the heck is that? I'm pay paying you. Stop this. <laughs> Geronimo Sch Schroeder said, I didn't understand everything he said, but the way he said it. Uh, and Ty K. Bro said, the beat is the, the only thing that he would keep. Um, yeah, it wasn't good. Uh, definitely amateur on this type of, uh, you know, he's Dante, his top of the mountain would be like Tyler, Tyler Yahweh, and he's at the very bottom. Um, Bronson said, Bronson's voting for the Japanese guy, the one with the heavy East Coast sound. Yeah, who do you guys think won today? All right, so the, mo the ones that gave us the best reactions were Fresh from DE, BMAC, and a fish a killer or, or no okay well i'll take out a uh, freshman de and say a fish a killer killer j um we're gonna have to go with killer j killer j showed us the most skill today um and hopefully whoever did your beat uh is on that same vibe you know just gets a look some shit that's a little bit more catchy more in pocket and uh, I think we have a, a, a winning career. Uh, you're definitely talented. MC Killer J, uh, probably a little older, so you know, you're definitely a disciple of uh, what, makes, what makes a good hip-hop record. Uh, so congratulations, you are today's litmus test. All right, I'm needed. Thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate every last one of you guys. Always hit me up on social media. Huh? Okay, that's fine. You have your pink shirt on. Um, I'm definitely uh, I'm very gracious that you guys uh, tune in. Uh, but now I'm going to need you guys to migrate over to hiphopdx.com. And let's listen to this Nas album together. It's the first album in damn near six years. Nas is one of the goats, hands down. And, uh, yeah. Uh, Payne, make sure you uh, submit to the litmus text next week. And uh, thank you guys. I'll see you guys. Shannon was hot today. Yeah, I saw Shannon earlier. <laughs> Uh, let's get it. Nas album. Nazir. Hip Hop DX.